In this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize widgets on your Samsung Epic 4G from Sprint. Essentially, a widget is an interactive icon. Um, there's several different kinds. I'll show you some that come preloaded on here. As you start downloading apps and games and things like that, you'll notice your widget options do expand, um, depending on what sort of apps you're downloading. But if we just push and hold on the main screen, we'll bring up a list of options and we click on widgets. Um, and you can just basically scroll through all the different preloaded widgets on here. Um, one that is a must is the Google search. If we click on that and then click all, basically it adds a little Google search bar directly to your main menu. So instead of having to go to the browser, go to google.com, I can just click right there, type in anything I would like, and I'm off on Google. Another kind of widget, if we push and hold and add another widget that comes preloaded that I do recommend is the program monitor. If we click on that, that will add it in here. And what this does is shows you all um, applications that are running. So as you can see right now, it's zero. But if I uh, open up my market, accept, back out, and maybe say I go to messaging and I back out, you can see on here, it's counting all of the applications that I have running. Whenever I don't want them anymore, I click on it, exit all, and it will close out all my applications. And then you'll notice it updates back down to zero. Widgets are really awesome, but keep in mind, um, widgets that auto updates um, are going to hurt your battery life a little. But I strongly encourage you to play around with widgets and uh, pick the ones you like. That's how you utilize widgets on your Samsung Epic 4G from Sprint.